Okay, um, so let's try this problem. Uh, it says that we convert the hydrated zinc 2 plus ion to the more stable um, zinc ammonia 4 2 plus ion by mixing 50.0 um, liters of 0 0.0020 molar of the hydrated zinc 2 plus ion and 25.0 liters of 0 0.15 molar ammonia. What's the final um, concentration of the hydrated zinc 4 2 plus ion if the Kf of the zinc ammonia complex is 7.8 times 10 to the 8th? Okay, so that's a big um, equilibrium constant. So that's different than what we've been used to um, seeing. So the first thing we're going to need to do um, is convert these two to their new molarities, okay? So, in order to do that, so, that was the initial, let's do the final concentration. So that's going to be mold per one liter times 15.0 liters divided by 50.0 liters plus 25.0 liters. So when we do that, to ammonia now. So um, the next thing we're going to want to do is write out the um, formation equation. So I'm going to erase all of the work here and just rewrite these concentrations here. So 1.3 times 10 to the negative 30 molar. sure how many ammonia is yet, so we've got to look at what the final complex is, ZnNH3 or 2 plus, okay. so when we do that we know there's going to be 4 there, okay. plus of course um, now 4 h 20 And then we have the Kf of 
that equals 7.8 times 10 to the 8. Okay. So um, let's do an ice table. So here, what's our concentration? 1.3 times 10 to the negative 3. So we're going to subtract 1.3 times 10 to the negative 3. Okay, it's actually we're subtracting approximately that much. Just like that last problem, it's not all going to go away. Okay? So when we do that, we're actually going to find x there. Okay, that's what we're looking for, actually, is the concentration that's left. If you remember what the problem said. I know you guys don't have it written down in front of you, you just gotta believe it. Okay. So we have this here, 5.0 times 10 to the negative 2. And we're going to subtract from this one 1.3 times 10 to the negative 3. So we got to multiply that by 4, okay, because there's 4. So, let's do that. So this one before was zero, and then we're going to add 1.3 times 10 to the negative 3. So it's going to be 1.3 times 10 to the negative 3. Like okay. So, we have a KF value, let's figure out what the KF equation is. Okay, so the KF equation, as you might imagine, is this. Concentration, so zinc with the ammonia's on it, divided by the hydrated zinc ion times ammonia to the fourth. Okay. So let's go ahead and solve for X there. So Concentration of zinc hydrated ion left is going to equal the ammonia complex concentration divided by KF times the concentration of ammonia to the fourth. Can everybody get to that point? Okay, so now it's just plug and chug. So at the top, it's going to be, well, what do we have? 1.3 times 10 to the negative 3 divided by kf. 7.8 times 10 to the 8, and that's multiplied by uh, ammonia, 4.5 times 10 to the negative 2 to the 4.
So I get, as you might imagine, a very small number, okay, because we would have expected it to be around zero, right, because we took it all out. But there's still a small amount left, okay, and that small amount is equivalent to 4.0 times 10, or 4.1, sorry, 4.1 times 10 to the negative 7 molar. Okay, so that's how much of the hydrated zinc ion is still left. Okay, are there any questions about that one? Yeah, what's that? Why is it, like, why does that one add something to zero? Well, like I said, there's still a little bit of it left. It doesn't all just react. Yeah, so it's just like that last problem we did. I know we had a lot of questions about is 10 to the negative 12 the same as zero? Yes, in our case it's approximately the same. But if you wanted to actually calculate that number, we can do that, and we did. Okay? Are there any other questions about that? Okay, wonderful.